Team Leidecker przed UFC w Berlinie. Team, finally we have a chance to, to see each other, to have a uh, few words with, with each other. There's a very difficult fight, fight for us and for you also. Two Polish fighters uh, fighting with each other. Do you think it's a good or bad thing? Cześć uh, Wojtek, first of all, very thank good. you very much for having me. And um, yeah, obviously it is a very tough fight. Um, our hearts are bleeding as well. You know, I mean, uh, I'm very close to Poland, very close to the Polish fighters. But uh, at the end of the day, um, this is what the sport is about. We want to see the best guys fight one another. And if they happen to be from the same country, then so be it. I mean, just that we're talking about it now uh, shows us that the UFC has indeed uh, done something right with this fight, right? Mm -hmm. People are getting interested in it. Yes, exactly, because my, my opinion is if two fighters from one country fight each other, it makes more. It makes it more interesting for, for everyone, probably. And uh, P Peter Sobota had some issues, health issues uh, in the past. Could you explain what, what exactly happened to, to him and is it okay right now? Yes, yeah, so he had some uh, health problems last year um, when he came back from Brazil. He uh, went for training camp to Brazil um, to prepare for his fight at MMA attack in April, I think. And uh, he, uh, he got some kind of infection from that. So uh, eventually we had to cancel that fight with a heavy heart because he really wanted to be part of that card. Um, and then we had another fight at MMA Attack at that uh, event that got cancelled in the event uh, in the end, and um, he had he had a infection on the on the liver, and uh, so uh, they had to they had to um, remove a little bit of that. But what um, was a bigger surgery? But uh, in the end, everything went well, and uh, re he recovered well, and uh, he's been training very hard he's been training very smart for the last 10 weeks and uh, I can just say that uh, he's in phenomenal shape he's much much bigger and much stronger than he used to be um, I mean during the time where he couldn't spar and uh, he couldn't do uh, fighting training of course uh, he he did some other training he lifted weights and uh, he went up to way over 90 kilos which is uh, quite unusual for him and um, yeah we're going to see a big and strong peter on saturday what what lesson in your opinion did he take from from him from his first uh, adventure with ufc now it's the second time second part in his life so what lesson did he take the biggest lesson he took was that even though it was a big challenge back in the day. He was a young boy, he was just 21 years old when he signed the contract. And um, he had three really tough fights, you know, they, they matched him really tough. And still he hung and he fought with all three guys and uh, he, never, he never got knocked out, he never got submitted. So uh, the thing he learned is that he can definitely compete with uh, people on that level. It was just a matter of improving and uh, maturing and getting to the stage to win at that level himself. And uh, we really think that right now, now uh, six years later, um, he's ready to do that. I know you're in a hurry, so two more. Uh, I was always wonder why so many Polish fighters starting to work with you. What's, what's so special about you? I don't know. Um, maybe I'm... You should know. Maybe, maybe because I'm a nice guy or I have a nice beard. But um, besides that, um, I didn't tell that story yet. So actually, you're the first one I tell that to. Um, my great ancestors, they actually come from Poland. Which part? Uh, from uh, Gdansk, okay. from up yeah. north and uh, from uh, my mother's side. And uh, so maybe there's a, a Polish connection that I have, like I think one fourth or one eighth of Polish blood flowing in me. Other, uh, the other logical explanation, now all kidding aside, would probably be because obviously I'm very close to, to Poland. I'm based here in Berlin, so uh, it's very short for me to go to places like uh, Szczecin, uh, to uh, Wroclaw, to uh, Poznan, whatever, you know. So this is a short distance and. Um, yeah, perhaps uh, Polish fighters are just uh, looking for professional representation and uh, obviously they're, they're coming to a good address if, if they're talking to me. 
I lied about two more because now I have two more. I just remind myself one question. UFC is looking for the, the European uh, matchmaker. So were you interested in this? Oh, how could I say I'm not interested in that? I think um, obviously it is a extremely tough job. I uh, admire Sean Shelby and Joe Silva for the job they do. They do an amazing job, but at the same time, it's an incredibly uh, tough job. You know, I mean, every fan is always of the opinion, oh, I could do that better and I would have made a different fight or I would have changed that matchup around. But at the end of the day, you know, they are getting certain budgets, they are getting certain uh, things they have to think about, you know, they are getting advice or they're getting orders to put a, a fight card together in a certain way. They have How did to you talk about it with matchmakers? Um, you know, at, at this time, I think there is no European matchmaker role, you know. Um, maybe somewhere down the line when there's going to be more events here in Europe and when it's definitely not going to be possible for, for them to still do Europe, still do the Middle East and Africa, maybe they're going to create that role. Mm -hmm. And Nick Hein, your second fighter fighting, I think it's, it's his UFC debut, right? Is, yes. So, your opinion about his fight? Because uh, so many people count on him, right? Yeah, Very so exciting uh, Nick has pretty much been the main attraction here in Germany uh, leading up to the fight. He's been giving interviews to all the big newspapers. There's been uh, features and short documentaries on all the big TV channels. He's been on breakfast television and everything. So finally, we're seeing something like a German fighter becoming a mainstream star, actually, which is great. And uh, Nick is an amazing athlete, amazing young man coming from a judo background. He was a two-time German champion in judo. He was a uh, uh, European champion at junior level. He was an Olympic uh, alternate. So uh, he played judo not just on on an on a okay level, but on a world level, you know, on a world stage. And uh, my opinion, there's never been a male judo player like him in the UFC. And uh, He's gonna, he's gonna do a great fight on Saturday. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. So look forward to Nick Hain as well. Thank you very much. Hope to, to see you again, talk to you again. And I can only say for the Polish fighters, not a tie would be the best, but two wins would be the best. But it's impossible, <laughs> unfortunately. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.